Hi friends, this is Rika. Welcome to this class. This class is about balancing the root chakra located in the pelvic floor and the heart chakra located in the heart center, the chest center. And I love to combine these two as the root chakra is all about balance, all about stability and foundation. And the heart chakra is all about love, compassion and joy. So it's going to be a lot about being gentle with yourself and especially because the root chakra and the foundation setting is all about alignment. Um, I would like you to think about what should it be like and then using your heart and going into what should it feel like. So for example, when I cue you to open up your chest towards the ceiling. Of course, it's not going to be your chest pointing towards the ceiling if you're not there yet. So it's all about what is your anatomy? What is your level of yoga? Listen to your body, just feel into it. Okay, what does it feel like to open up towards the ceiling, towards the sky? Ah, this is how it feels like. And then after that, you can still see, okay, is it really the right alignment? Um, can I go a little bit further? And what does it feel like then? But first try to feel into the posture, try to feel into the cue. Also talking about engaging um, the muscles within the legs. For example, my cue would be strong legs. This means, okay, am I squeezing my thighs? Am I squeezing everything that is in there? Do I have strong foundation in my feet? Are they crowning into the mat underneath me? So just try to think a little bit wider when I cue you something and what is the actual meaning, the actual feel, feeling out of these um, cues. All right, without further ado, I would like to get into it. You might need a strap, you might need some blocks, especially in the beginning, I would like you to have two blocks or a bolster handy because we are starting on our backs in supine pose. So if you have some blocks, place them like this, one on the long side, the other one on the short side, and then come into Baddha Konasana with your legs so your feet together, knees falling outward, butterfly pose, and then you can come onto the middle of your back, uh, will be on the first block, and then the back of your head will be on the second block. You may need to adjust them a little bit when you're down there. And then you can take your hands onto your tummy or next to your body. If this is really uncomfortable for your legs, you can also straighten them up towards the front. Do whatever feels good right now for yourself. Otherwise, you can also take the um, diamond shape a little bit wider so you're not too, too close to your buttocks with your heels. All right. And then I invite you to just close your eyes or soften your gaze and bring your focus, your awareness towards your breath. Let go of any thoughts within your mind. Let go of the outside world and focus your attention on your spiritual heart center in the middle of your chest and be aware of your heart as a space. Our heart is the center of awareness where the feelings enter, where they come and go. And therefore, in its essence, the heart is pure emptiness. It is pervaded by peace and sunlight. So I invite you to imagine this light appearing within your heart as white, gold, 
pale pink or blue. Without straining to find a light of any kind or any color, all you need to feel is whatever is there. And while your attention rests easily on your heart center, breathe gently and sense your breath flowing in and out of your heart. And while you breathe, the light within your heart gets brighter and more vibrant. And as the light gets brighter and more vibrant, ask your heart what it needs to say right in this moment. Without straining, pushing, pressuring your heart, just have the faint intention that you want your heart to express itself. Stay with your heart and listen. Maybe your heart will begin to release emotions, memories, wishes, fears and dreams, all long stored inside. And as it does, you will find yourself paying attention. You may have a flash of strong emotion or a forgotten memory popping up in your mind. Your breathing may change. Stay there and experience it. You may gasp, sigh, or even feel tears come into your eyes. Let the experience be whatever it is.
And when you had your legs in Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose, then bring your hands underneath your thighs and gently pull yourself back together, your knees back together, your feet can come met with apart and let your knees fall inward. Take a few breaths here. Feel the closing of your hips. And then roll onto one side of your blocks and release your blocks from underneath you. Place them somewhere close. And then come onto your back one more time. Balance out your spine here. And take your hands again onto your tummy or next to your body. Feel the breath underneath your hands. Release your shoulders. Release your head. And then bring your knees gently towards your chest. You can keep your eyes closed or start to open them up if you haven't already. And extend your legs towards the ceiling. Cross your right leg from the front around your left. So into a bind, bend both knees, eagle legs. Do the same with your arms. So right arm underneath your left arm, bind once or twice. With your inhale, reach with your fingertips towards the back with your toes towards the front, engaging your core here already. And with your exhale, lift your head, maybe bring your elbows and knees as close as possible, engaging your core. Inhale apart. Exhale, come back together. Inhale apart. Exhale together. One more inhale apart. And with your exhale, bring your knees back above your hips, release your arms straight to your side, and then release your knees towards the left side. Look up towards the ceiling or towards your right fingertips. Keep both shoulder blades on the mat, come into a nice twist here. You can also release your legs a little bit if you need some support in your twist. And then breathe deeply into your tummy. Feel how the air with every inhale squeezes through your solar plexus all the way into your tummy. And with your exhale, all the air, all the stale air within your body is squeezed out. With your next inhale, come back into center. Lift your legs up, straighten them towards the ceiling again. We exchange the legs, so this time your left leg binds around your right leg. Bend both knees into eagle legs and your left arm comes underneath your right arm. Bind once or twice. With your inhale, reach with your fingertips towards the back, with your toes towards the front. Make yourself long. And with your exhale, bring your knees and elbows together. Lift your head off the mat, squeeze your core. Inhale apart. Exhale together. Inhale apart. Exhale together. Inhale apart. And with your exhale, bring your knees above your hips, release your arms to the sides and then release your knees towards the right side. Keep both shoulder plates again on the mat underneath you. Look up towards the ceiling or if your neck allows, look towards your left fingertips. Breathe here. Deep belly breaths. Maybe you feel the deepening with each exhalation. 
can twist a little bit more when the stale air is out of your lungs and out of your tummy. One more deep breath into the belly. And then with your exhale, come back to center. Reach your legs up towards the ceiling and then bend your knees towards your chest. Make yourself really small into a ball. Maybe hug your shins. Rock from side to side a little bit. Massage your lower back. And then start to rock from front to back. Do this some spinal rolls here so really feel it in the whole spine take as many as you need and as much momentum as you need to come all the way into your yogi squat so your feet are met with apart he sli heels slightly inward you can also use your hand to lift yourself up take your hands into prayer pose in front of your heart your elbows pointing outward guiding your knees outward Try to have some weight in the outside of your feet. A really strong back here, long neck, and maybe bring your chin towards your chest a little bit, tuck your chin in. Maybe tuck your pelvis towards the front and bring your navel towards your spine. So you're activating all the bandhas within your body. And breathe here for a few deep breaths. Enjoy the opening of your hips. Inhale, hands underneath your shoulders. Step back into high plank, Falakasana. Make sure that your fingers are widely spread. You are not falling in between your upper arms. So you have really strong shoulders here. Inhale, lift your right leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Step your right foot on the outside of your right hand into lizard pose, Uttan Pristasana. You can stay on your hands or you can lower your do yourself down onto your forearms. But only do this if your back can stay straight. Otherwise, you can also use blocks underneath your forearms to get a little bit of elevation here. Keep your legs strong, especially your back leg is strong. So rotate it slightly outward. And then breathe deeply into your belly again, your right knees above your right ankle. Inhale back onto your hands, pivot your right foot inward, so into the center of the mat, reach your arms up above your head, Ashta Chantrasana, and with your exhale, bend your elbows, draw your shoulder blades together and lower your knee down, lift up your chest towards the ceiling, so really open up here, inhale up, exhale lower, open your chest, guide your elbows together, inhale up, Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Stay here. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Step a little bit towards the front of the mat and then lift your back leg up parallel to the mat. Your upper body comes parallel as well into Virabhadrasana 3, Warrior 3. Breathe here. Really stable leg. Maybe you can lift up your toes so that you feel the weight in the whole of your foot. Inhale, bend your back knee, come into one-legged Tadasana, mountain pose. Now place your right left leg onto your right leg. So your right left foot comes onto your right upper thigh into tree pose. If this is too challenging, you can also take 
your foot onto your shin or even onto the floor underneath you, whatever is available for you. Breathe here. Maybe reach your arms up with your inhale and with your exhale, bring your hands behind your back onto your lower back into prayer pose again. Find your trishti in front of you, your non-moving point. And then hold the balance again, maybe lifting up your toes from the mat. Really feel the weight in the whole of your foot. Strong core, strong standing leg. Exhale, release your hands. Maybe take them again in front of your heart center. We will come into Uttita Hasta Padangustasana, the extended hand to toe pose. For that, I will turn around towards you so you can see me better. You stay where you are. And then you release your leg towards the front. You can either take your left hand onto your left chin, your right hand onto your right hip, or you take your left hand or your left peace fingers to your big toes and then extend your leg towards the front. You can also use a strap here if you want and place your foot, the palm of your foot onto the strap and then take it as close to your foot as possible so your arm is straight. And then extend your leg towards the side, so open up your hip here. Wherever you are, stay there for three. Find your non-moving point, two. Engage your core and your leg, one. And then guide your knee or your leg back towards the front. Release your strap if you had one and stay there. Keep some pulses for one, two, three, four, five, hold, five, four, three, two, one, release. Maybe shake out your legs, take your arms above your head, make yourself really long. And with your exhale, release. Inhale, half lift, look to the front. Hands on your shin, straight back here. Exhale, release into your forward fold. Take a breath here, maybe grab your ankles or your big toes and gently pull yourself closer towards your thighs. Have a slight bend in your knees. Release your neck. Maybe shake from side to side, front to back. And release your hands wherever they are and bring your feet Met with a part, heel slightly inwards, sit back down into Malasana Yogi Squat, hands to heart center, guide your knees outward. Again, do the energy locks if you want by tucking your chin, tucking your pelvis and bring your navel to your spine or stay in a normal Malasana. Inhale, take your hands underneath your shoulders. Step back into high plank again. Balakasana. This time inhale, reach your left leg up. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Step onto the outside of your left hand into Uttan Pristasana. Stay on your hands or come all the way onto your forearms again with a pluck or without. Whatever is available for you to have a Long, elongated back still. Strong right leg here, slightly rotated outward. Deep inhale and exhale here. And inhale, come onto your hands, pivot your right left foot towards the center of the mat and then reach your arms up above your head into Ashta Chantrasana, high lunge. Exhale, bend your elbows, draw your shoulder blades together with your knee, come downward into Anjanasana, low lunge. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. 
inhale up stay here and then exhale your hands into your heart center step a little bit forward or come all the way into warrior three virabhadrasana three really strong standing leg strong core maybe you can lift your chest a little bit flex your back foot Now with your inhale, come all the way into a one-legged Tadasana, mountain pose. Take your right foot and place it onto your left thigh or left shin, whatever is available for you. Reach your arms up with your inhale. And with your exhale, bring your hands behind your back, onto your lower back in prayer hands. Breathe here, strong core, lift through the chest. Maybe you can lift up your toes. And then exhale, release your hands towards the front again. We come into Uttita Hasta Padangostasana on this side. I turn around to, your, to you again. And then release your right knee this time. Either take your left hand onto your hip and your right hand onto your shin or your right hand with your peace fingers around your toes or again the strap if you inhale extend your leg towards the front have a really strong elongated back here and then open up towards the side with your inhale opening up the hip make sure your hips are squared your shoulders are rolled back your chest is lifting up don't forget to breathe slow and steady and then inhale, come back to center, release your leg, release your strap, do some pulses for five, four, three, two, one, hold for five, four, three, two, one, and release, maybe shake out your legs, your thighs, and then inhale, your arms up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold over your thighs, maybe grab your ankles, pull yourself gently closer. Surrender yourself completely into this forward fold. And then with your next inhale, bring your feet back mat with apart, heel slightly inward. Sit back down into Malasana Yogi Squat. Take your hands to your heart center. Guide your knees outward. This time we add a little twist. So if you inhale, bring your right hand onto the outside of your mat. Lift your left arm up. Inhale here. And with your exhale, bend your elbow. Open up your chest towards the ceiling. Breathe here. Maybe look up or towards the mat, whatever is available for your neck. And then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, exchange the sides, left hand onto the outside of the mat, right arm up, inhale here. And exhale, bend your elbow, lift your chest up. Make sure both knees are pointing outward so they're not falling inward here. Helps to come onto the outside of the feet. Inhale, come back to center. Take a breath here. Slow and steady. And then with your inhale, hands underneath your shoulders, step back into high plank again. Really strong back, strong legs. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, knee to right elbow, step onto the outside of your right hand. This time stay here on your hands. Take a breath here. And with your next inhale, lift your right leg up again. Place your right knee towards your right wrist, your shin onto the mat and untuck your back toes into half pigeon pose. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bend over your 
front thigh maybe your forehead comes onto the mat and then feel all the points in your body grounding into the mat really feel your hips are squared feel your hands pressing into the mat your forehead gently pressing into the mat With your inhale, walk your hands towards your knees again. Come into an upright position and then rotate to the left side all the way towards the back of the mat. Your left leg is straight, pointing towards the back. Your feet are flexed. Your right knee is pointing towards the right side. Inhale, lift your arms up. And with your exhale, come over your left thigh into a forward fold. You can grab your foot if that's available, your shin, or maybe you keep reaching to engage your core here a little bit. Inhale, come back up, reach up. Exhale, rotate towards the right side and then bend over your thigh again this time stretching the right side of your body again maybe you keep reaching with your arms or maybe you can grab your toes with your right hand but keep your chest lifted up so you're opening up here inhale come back up and then exhale, rotate towards the front, place your hands again underneath your shoulders, tuck your left toes under and then step your right foot onto the center of the mat, come onto the outside of your left foot and reach your right arm up into a supported side plank here. Breathe here, slow and steady. And then exhale, bring your hand underneath your shoulder again and step back into high plank. Lift your right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, step in between your hands. Lift your arms up, Ashta Chantrasana. With your exhale, bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers and step your back foot into a 45 degree angle into warrior one. Lift your chest up. Keep Gently pulling your hands towards the mat underneath you. And then with your exhale, bend over your right thigh into a humble warrior. Keep lifting your hands above your head. And with your inhale, come back up. Release your hands into your heart center and step all the way into warrior three again, lifting your back foot off the mat. Take a breath here. And with your inhale, come into your one legged Tadasana again, knee towards your chest. And this time take your left foot into your right hip groin. If this is something that is available for you. Otherwise, come into tree pose again and take your hands into your heart center or onto the back of your body, onto your lower back. Breathe here, gently try to pull your knee towards the mat underneath you. Now with your next inhale, release your leg wherever it is and bring your knee onto the same height with the other knee. Grab your foot from behind. So your right hand is on the inside, your left hand is on the outside of the foot, and then start to lower your upper body parallel to the mat and lift your knee parallel to the mat as well. You can stay here or take your right hand onto the mat underneath you into sugar cane pose. 
Breathe here for three, two, one. And with your exhale, release your leg. Come into your forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Gently pull yourself closer to your thighs. Have a slight bend in your knees. Maybe your torso touches your thighs. And with your next inhale, guide your knees. Again, mat with apart. Heel slightly inward, sit back down into Malasana Yogi Squat, hands to heart center. Take a breath here. And now with your inhale, bring your left hand onto the outside of the mat. Your right arm comes up. This time maybe come into a bind. So bind your right arm onto your lower back and then touch or grab your left hand with your right hand. Try to open up your chest towards the side as well. Keep lifting. And then come back to center with your inhale. Next inhale, right hand onto the outside of the mat. Left arm comes up. Stay here or come into a bind by binding your left hand onto your right lower back and then maybe grab your right hand from behind open up your chest towards the ceiling keep your knees both outward and then come back to center take a breath here and with your inhale, place your hands underneath your shoulders and step back into high plank. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Step onto the outside of your left hand. Take a breath here. Now with your inhale, lift your left leg up, place your left Knee to your left wrist, shin onto the mat, untuck your back toes, reach your arms up with an inhale. Let the exhale bend over your front thigh. Take some breaths here, grounding all the points in your body into the mat again. Your hands are strong, feel the ground. Your shin is crowning. Your other shin is crowning. And release yourself all the way into this forward fold. Into this deep hip opening posture. Inhale, come back towards your knees into an upright position and then rotate open through the right side all the way towards the back of the mat. Your le right leg is this time straight. Your left knee is pointing towards the left side. Inhale, your arms up. And with your exhale, bend over your right thigh. Maybe keep reaching or take the outside of your feet. Wherever you are, really... Release yourself into this forward fold. Again, use your breath to guide you deeper. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, rotate towards the left and then bend over your thigh again. This time stretching the left side of your body. Keep reaching towards the back or maybe grab your toes with your left fingers. But stay open with your upper body. 
you're not falling inward, you're really opening up to the stretch here. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, hands behind you onto the mat. Tuck your right toes under and step your left foot into the center of the mat. Reach your left arm up. Come onto the outside of your right foot. Supported side plank here. You can look to the side or up towards your hand. Keep lifting through your hip. And then exhale, come back to center into full plank. Lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, step in between your hands into high lunge. Reach your arms up. Ashtachantrasana. Exhale, lower your hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Place your right foot into 45 degrees onto the mat behind you. Lift your chest up slightly, pull your hands towards the mat underneath you and then exhale, fold over your front thigh. Humble warrior on this side. Really enjoy the opening of your chest. Inhale, come back up, release your hands to your heart center and step a little bit towards the front and all the way into warrior three. Take a breath here. And then with your next inhale, bend your knee towards your chest, come into a one-legged Tadasana. Either place your right foot onto your thigh or into your hip groin into a half lotus standing pose. Hands to heart center on the back of your body. Open up your chest, keep your ribs tucked in. Strong standing leg. Maybe you can lift up your toes. And then release your leg towards your chest. Release your knee towards your other knee and then grab your right foot from behind with both hands. Start to lower your chest down lifting up your knee. Either stay here or take your left hand onto the mat underneath you. Stay here for three, two, strong core, one, and release your leg, release yourself into forward fold Uttanasana. Maybe let yourself hang this time. Maybe grab the opposing elbows. Swing from side to side a little bit. With your inhale, come into a half lift. With your exhale, fold forward. Bring your knees or your feet Met with a part, sit back down into Malasana Yogi Squat, hands to heart center. Exhale, hands underneath your shoulders, step back into high, lung, high plank. Inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, knee to right elbow, step onto the outside of your right hand. One breath here. Inhale, lift your right leg up, come again into half pigeon pose, chin onto the mat, untuck your back toes, one breath here in upright position. And with your next inhale, rotate towards the left and all the way towards the back of the mat, reach your arms up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale here, exhale here. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, rotate towards the right and come into a side bend. Inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bring your hands up onto the front of the body, underneath your shoulders. Rotate all the way back into supported side plank. Reach your right arm up. And maybe this time start to lift 
your right leg off the mat and into a full side plank. Maybe stay here or start to peel off your right leg again and then step it onto the back side of your body into a wild thing. Reach your right arm towards the front, lift your chest up, lift your hips up. Inhale here, exhale, come back into high plank. Lift your right leg up and exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, step in between your hands, lift your arms up, Ashta Chantrasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, directly lift up into warrior three. Inhale, come back into one legged Tadasana. And then exhale, directly bring your hands onto your left foot, bring your knee into the height of your right knee. You can stay here or take your right hand above you towards the ceiling, create a Gyan Mutra with your hand. And then start to lower your upper body towards the mat underneath you, lifting your back leg up, gently pressing into your left hand with your left foot, coming into Natarayasana, dancer pose. Keep a strong core here. Slightly keep pressing into your hand with your foot. Strong standing leg. Find a non-moving point, a trishti in front of you. One more breath here. And then exhale, release, come back into standing. Tadasana, reach yourself up, make yourself long. Exhale, fold over your thighs, bring your hands behind you. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release. Inhale up and exhale, release. Release your arms to your sides, come into a forward fold, Uttanasana. And then bring your feet met with a part, heat slightly inward. Sit back down into Malasana Yogi Squat, hands to heart center. Take a breath here. And now with your next inhale, place your hands underneath your shoulders. Exhale, step back into high plank. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Step onto the outside of your left hand. One breath here. With your inhale, lift your left leg up again. Place your shin onto the mat into half pigeon pose. Come into an upright position, take a breath here. And with your inhale, roll through the right side all the way towards the back again. Come into Janusasana, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold over your thigh. Inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale, lift yourself up, reach your arms up, rotate towards the left side and then fold over your right leg again into a side bend. Inhale here, exhale here. Inhale, come up, exhale, rotate to the front, hands underneath your shoulders and step all the way back into supported side plank on this side. This time, lift your left leg up, maybe place it into a side plank, stay here or bring your knee again towards your chest and then step your foot on to the right side of your mat, reach your left arm towards the back, lift your chest, lift your hips. Inhale here. Exhale, come back to center, into high plank. One breath here. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Step in between your hands. Lift your arms up, Ashta Chantrasana. Exhale, hands to heart center. Step all the way into warrior three. One breath here. 
And with your next inhale, bring your right knee towards your chest. And then lower your knee onto the height of your left knee. Maybe grab your foot from behind. And if you want to come into Natarayasana on this side as well, take your left hand towards the ceiling, maybe into Gyanudra. And then lower your upper body down. Lift your right knee up. Gently press into your right hand with your right foot. Strong standing leg, strong core. Stay here for a few more breaths. Inhale here. Exhale, release your leg, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold over your thighs, hands behind your back. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Stay here. Come into Uttanasana, forward fold. And inhale, lift yourself into a half lift. Exhale, hands underneath your shoulders, step back into high plank. Inhale here. And with your exhale, shift over your wrists through Chaturanga, come all the way onto the mat as slowly as you can. Maybe you need to adjust yourself a little bit. And then bring your hands onto the mat underneath, uh, behind, beside you, so your arms are straight on your sides, your palms facing the mat. And lower your chin onto the mat as well, looking towards the front. Bring your feet or your toes to touch. And then with your next inhale, start to lift your upper body up. So your chest lifts off the mat with your inhale. Maybe walk your fingertips towards the back a little bit. Keep your glutes engaged to protect your lower back. Look to the front. Stay here for three, two, Draw your shoulder blades together, one. And exhale, release. Come onto your right cheek. Take a breath here. With your next inhale, we are lifting the legs of the mat. So bring your toes to touch or if you want to have them apart, no further than hip distance apart. Bring your chin onto the mat again and then start to lift up your legs. Stay here for three, two, one, and release. This time come onto your left cheek and take a breath. With your inhale, come back onto your chin. We combine the both of them. So we start to lift legs and upper body at the same time. With your inhale, start to lift up legs, upper body. Maybe lift up your hands as well. And then maybe interlace your hands behind your back, lifting up your chest a little bit more. Keep reaching towards the back. Look to the front for three. Two, one, and exhale, release. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and come all the way into your child's pose. Maybe take your feet a little bit further apart so your torso falls in between your upper thighs. Take a breath here. Really crown your forehead into the mat, maybe Roll from side to side a little bit. Find back stillness, feel the breath in the back of your body. Now if you inhale, bring your knees back together. If you had them apart, place your crown of the head where your forehead was before. 
take your arms around you, your hands onto your heels, and then start to lift off your hips into hair pose, Avangasana. Take some breaths here. Really feel the rounding in your upper back. And with your exhale, release back down. Come all the way into an upright seated position. And then bring your feet all the way towards the front. Maybe sit into the center of your mat so you have enough space to roll all the way down onto your back. So take your hands towards the front. And then use all your vertebras in your body to roll yourself down as slowly as you can. And when your head reaches the mat, take your knees towards your chest. Maybe rock from side to side a little bit, massaging your lower back. And extend your legs towards the ceiling. We start, or end this class how we started it. The right leg binds the left leg, bend your knees into eagle legs. Right arm underneath, left arm bind once or twice. And if you inhale, reach front and back. And with your exhale, knees and elbows together, lift your head, engage your core. Inhale apart. Exhale together. Inhale apart. Exhale together. Inhale apart. And with your exhale, bring your knees above your hips. Release your arms to your sides and then release your legs towards the left, this time completely surrender into the mat, into the twist, you can look up or towards your right fingertips and keep both shoulders in the mat, crowning into the mat, feel how your body relaxes with each exhalation a little bit more can also close your eyes if you want and bring your full awareness towards your breath. One more deep breath here. Now if you inhale, come back to center. Lift your legs straight up towards the ceiling and then bind your left leg around your right leg. Bind your left arm underneath your right arm once or twice. And then reach front and back with your inhale. Exhale, knee and elbow together. Inhale apart. Exhale together. Inhale apart. Exhale together. Inhale apart. Exhale, come back into center with your knees. Reach your arms to the sides and then lower your knees towards the right side. Look up or towards your left. Keep both shoulder blades grounded into the mat. Feel the twist in your solar plexus, in the center of your body. Maybe close your eyes, soften your gaze if you want. And bring your awareness towards your breath again.
Deep inhale and exhale here. Inhale to center. And then exhale, bring your knees towards your chest. Make yourself tiny, tiny, into a tiny little ball. Maybe lift your head off the mat. And then give yourself some love, all the love that you had in this practice today. Give your knees a kiss. Make yourself really small. Take an inhale here. Hold your breath for three, two, one. And release yourself all the way into the mat underneath you. Release your breath. Let your feet fall outward, your hands facing the ceiling. If you want to pull something over to keep you warm in this last pose shavasana and feel free to do so now and when you're ready start to relax your body from toe to head maybe engaging one body part after another and releasing it back down into the mat Wherever you feel some sensation, try to engage that part of the body. And with your exhale, release it back down. Release your shoulders and your head. Release all the muscles within your face. Maybe by lifting your eyebrows. Pursing your lips. Shifting your jaw from side to side. And then let everything get really heavy and melt into the ground. Maybe bring your focus towards your breath again and take some deep breaths in through your nose, sighing it out, inhale through the nose, sigh it out, one more inhale through the nose. And sigh it out. Keep breathing in your natural rhythm. And maybe come back to the light within your heart center. Spreading into your whole chest with each breath that you take. And maybe from the chest, spreading all the way into your whole body. Until each cell of your body is filled with that vibrant light that you imagined within your heart center. Your whole body is filled up with all the love, compassion and joy that you have within your heart center.
Slowly start to deepen your breath. Bring the awareness back towards your heart center. And then start to move your fingers and your toes. Bring some movement into your body, feet, hands, legs and arms. Maybe reaching your arms above your head and making yourself really long. And then bring your knees towards your chest and roll onto one side. Maybe choose the other side today that you would normally choose. Take a few moments to find back into your physical body find back into your room and into your surroundings. Feel the warmth and the love within your heart center. And then gently use your upper hand to push yourself up into a seated posture. One more time, take your hands to your heart center. Slightly nod your head towards your fingertips. I invite you to thank yourself, thank your body and thank your mind. Thank your heart for guiding you Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you liked the practice as much as I did. Let me know in the comments or by liking this video or maybe even subscribing to my channel for more videos to come.